Hi everybody, this is Vitorials and today we are going to create this hot logo in Adobe Illustrator and uh, it could be also a, a icon for our mobile app or web app or whatever you want it and I think uh, this the key point of this logo is this uh, vibrant gradient but uh, also this wavy line that divides this logo into the unequal parts add another level of sophistication but Talk less, act more. Let's create our logo right now, here in Adobe Illustrator. So let's start with a file, new document, and I want to size this document with 1920 and 1080. Click create, and as always, I want to uh, turn off align art to pixel grid and increase the row size of my layers so everybody can see them properly. I also want to grab all of my gradients, I have only one gradient, and put it on my new artboard and maybe lock this layer with my gradient. Uh, let's make it a little bit more smaller so we don't accidentally interact with this. So on my new layer I want to start my artwork uh, with a rectangle to and uh, here I want to set the width to my rectangle to 270 pixels and height of my rectangle to 420 pixels and click OK to create this kind of rectangle. I want to click this slash to get rid of my fill color and I'm happy with this one pixel black stroke. Next I want to grab my Dirk selection tool and uh, select two, uh, two top points of my rectangle and drag on these little small uh, bullets here to round the corners. Of course this trick works only on the CC uh, version of Adobe Illustrator but if you have the previous version you can use uh, the script around any corners. Next select your rectangle with the uh, uh, selection tool and holding shift key rotate it to the left on 45 degrees then access to your select tool or click all and holding alt key click on the path of your uh, rectangle and the dialog box here uh, make sure that you reflecting around the vertical axis and click copy to make a duplicate and holding shift key drag this duplicate to the original file with your selection tool so they need to perfectly uh, fit each other so i'm gonna control y command y to enter the outline mode and control plus command plus to increase the to scale my artwork so i think they uh, i do the job and we're ready to next step is to create the circle and uh, to create a circle we need to grab our ellipse tool, hit once on the artboard and here I want to set width and height uh, to uh, 268 pixels and click OK. This width and height is not accidental. As you can see this circle is almost perfectly match the, this uh, curvy line of my heart shape. Place my circle properly as you can see this point of interaction and this point and this is this path. We need to place it around the, in the middle of this path so make to make sure that we place it properly Ctrl Y Command Y and drag it on this path so land this circle on this path like so. I think I do the, the job, but we can check it only with our shape builder tool. So grab your shape builder tool and try to select all the uh, inter intersection independently. Select all your entire composition when you're done. With the shape builder tool, uh, select this path. This is our small part and this is our large path. So combine and uh, get rid of uh, another another shapes if you have them. I have a three more unnecessary shapes and I am ready to leave my outline mode. So go to your preview mode using Ctrl Y. We have these two shapes and we and we are ready to give them a gradient. This is a simple three color 
stop gradient and uh, this is a start point, this is end and this is the middle point of this gradient and as you can see this represented with these different colors so I simply want to sample this gradient here I want to make a little adjustment to the direction of this gradient and uh, I also want to assess my gradient panel if you can find your gradient panel go to the windows and here you can find the gradient uh, click on this icon reverse gradient so this purple color I think it should be on uh, top and uh, before we add our gradient to this smaller part let's uh, make a little adjustment to this uh, big shape uh, first of all I want to select this uh, bottom points I want to select all of them and if you as I can see the handle to round the corner that means we need to delete additional points in this corner that was created by the shape builder tool transformation uh, select it again now we can see this handle and i want to drag this handle to round the corner so uh, select your smaller part and uh, give it a gradient and i want to align this gradient from uh, to uh, bottom left to top right like so so we have this great shape a very nice result but uh, to make this uh, logo stand out i want to uh, add the highlights here and here on my logo and in order to create a highlight let's go to the ellipse tool grab your ellipse tool and here i want to set the width of my ellipse to 230 pixels and height of my ellipse to 230 pixels click ok and uh, now we need to create a shape let me uh, produce another color maybe this blue uh, i want to make a duplicate of this circle and hold alt key and hold shift key and drag the circle to the bottom right direction and uh, as you can see i select both of them holding shift key and uh, now i approach to my uh, shape builder tool and select this uh, free space on top and delete all another stuff uh, from here before i set a highlight gradient i want to make a little adjustment to the shape of my highlight i want to select this uh, let me double click on my uh, to change the uh, bounding box i want to select this uh, point on corner and this point of corner as you can see they are fillet and other hollow and i want to drag to our bullet shape to round the corners and soften a little bit my shape here yes i have my shape on place and i approach to my uh, gradient panel and uh, here i want to click on this uh, chevron icon and choose a white and black gradient then i want to double click on my st uh, black stopwatch and make it white then uh, keep this uh, stopwatch selected and uh, reduce the opacity to 0% so one of the, your stopwatch is 100% transparent and now I want to grab this slider this tiny uh, little slider and move it towards my uh, white to the position of 40 or uh, I'm sorry to 33 32% we have this shape, we have this gradient and I'm ready to make an adjustment of the direction of this gradient with the gradient tool uh, or click G. I want to reverse this. So I have this kind of nice uh, highlight. I simply want to enlarge a little bit and switch my tab to transparency panel. If you can find your transparency panel, go to the windows and transparency and here i want to change the opacity to 30 percent i received this nice highlight i'm pretty satisfied with the result and i want to hold alt key and make it duplicate then i want to hold shift key and rotate it on 90 degrees to the right maybe i want to scale this 
this highlight a little bit, just a little bit. Keep selected this highlight, change the direction just a little to the north. So we have this kind of uh, shape and we need to create a stand and if you if you have seen my previous tutorials how to create a flower up, I recommend it. Uh, you know how to create this stand, this kind of stand, what I'm talking about for these icons and I repeat briefly, very briefly, very uh, quick uh, reviewing this uh, tutorial. So go you to, to your round, rounded rectangle tool. Here uh, set the width of your rectangle to 760 pixels and height to your rectangle to 760 pixels and corner radius to 178 uh, pixels. So click OK. We have this kind of uh, nice rounded uh, square and I want to uh, align this to the center both horizontally and vertically to the center of my document. Then I want to approach the gradient panel, uh, click on the chevron icon, choose default gradient, double click on the uh, black stopwatch, choose grayscale and here I want to drag the slider to the around let's say 12% uh, gray. Now I want to grab my uh, gradient tool and change the direction of this gradient from top uh, left to bottom right. And uh, now uh, in order to create a small duplicate I want to go to the object path and offset path and make the uh, choose the offset value a negative 20 pixels. Check preview, click OK. So we, cre we create a small duplicate and I want to click on this smaller icon reverse gradient on my gradient panel in order to reverse this gradient. Now select, let me grab, uh, I have a habit to work on the every new layer. Let me create a, a couple of more layers here and I want to uh, make a duplicate of this original uh, rounded square and uh, put it, this duplicate on the new layer and now drag this, uh, this new layer beneath our original one and I want to click on this small uh, tiny uh, free space between uh, airball and hover icon in order to lock my original file and uh, I think I need to make it invisible. So we uh, now uh, work only with duplicates, we don't interfere with the our original file. I want to uh, set it to solid color clicking on this uh, icon and I want to make it black. So uh, I create a black uh, rounded square and I want to make a duplicate with Ctrl C, Ctrl F. Select your uh, square beneath uh, on the bottom. Go to transparency panel and set it to 100 uh, transparent, set the opacity to 0, and then keep select them bo both of them with the shift key, go to the object, blend and blend options, here set the, set the spacing to specify distance and uh, value to 0.4 pixels and click OK. Now uh, using Ctrl Alt B or Command Option B create your plant. You can also use object uh, plant make and uh, click on this chevron icon to open your plant. Last select the bottom path of inside your plant and move it to the bottom right in order to create the shadow. Now select uh, both paths of inside your plant, go to your transparency panel and set it to 20%. So we create this uh, vector shadow, it's 100% vector, we create this stand and you need to repeat the same step with your circles, but um, uh, your circles should be around 580 pixels width and height. So I do not want to bother you with this stuff. I simply want to thank you for following this tutorial. If you like this tutorial, please do not hesitate to sum up, subscribe and share it with your friends. I will come back to you very soon. Have a nice day.